Ah, the latest lord in the Emperor's arsenal returns. You're just in time. I have need of you. My master on the Dark Council, Dark Vengeance, wants war. Not petty skirmishes that tiptoe around the Treaty of Coruscant, but open warfare. Vengeance has tasked me with finding a way to compel the rest of the Council to tear up the Treaty. The sooner we can stop pulling punches, the sooner the Republic will fall. The Republic is stronger than you think. Otherwise, the Emperor would never have negotiated peace. But I may have found an opportunity that will have the Council and the Emperor ready to act. Most think that our inability to find and defeat one man, General Karist is gone, kept us from outright victory and forced the negotiated peace. Tell me you found this man, and that I get to kill him. General Gon operates from the shadows. A phantom single-handedly preventing the fringe systems from falling to us. After years without a hint of his whereabouts, I've learned that he's meeting on Nar Shaddaa with traitorous Imperial agents. You will go there, and you will kill him. Consider him dead. Without Gon, the fringe systems will fall. Control of the outlying planets will be a great advantage. So, to Nar Shaddaa, and deliver Darth Vengeance's red carpet to war. Well, Gon? I'm happy to report that Jedi Knight Zarinder has landed safely on Hoth. I saw to it personally. You're a valuable asset to the Republic, Faust. Someday the rest of the Chiss will follow your lead. The rabbit comes out of his hole. Nice to see my information was correct. Men, we've got trouble. Rally around the General! Protect our allies as well. I think I can guess who you are, Sith. For all of Darth Barriss's covert manipulations, you have banged around the galaxy rather loudly. Now Barriss has finally found me. I'll have to be more careful moving forward. Your moving forward days have come to an end. The ship attacks! Who killed them all? Please, mercy. I... we will rededicate ourselves to the Empire. You all have to die for your treason. Barris, are you responsible? Was it you who took out General Gon? It was, Lord Vengeon. The fringe systems are now ripe for the taking. Such an advantage will prod the rest of the Council out of passivity. They will see war is the only answer. You have delivered to me what I most crave. Give credit where credit is due. Who dares interrupt? Barris, who is this? This is my most accomplished apprentice, my lord, and the killer of Gon. Your destruction of General Gon earns you my favor, young one. Today. I will eclipse the feat tomorrow, my lord. I'm impressed with your choice of apprentice, Beris. It is time. I will send my destroyer to the fringe systems, and they will be mine before anyone is the wiser. The order is given, Beris. Enact Plan Zero. Benjen out. Excellent. I have waited a long time for this order. Apprentice Plan Zero is the systematic elimination of the Republic's top military leaders. A preemptive strike that will leave the enemy headless. Now you're speaking my language. I have been tracking of the targets for years in anticipation of Plan Zero. There's no time to waste. Make ready your ship. I will contact you there. Apprentice, your targets are the Republic's six most important military leaders. There are two I must still locate. Admiral Monk, who commands the Republic fleet, and Jedi Knight Zarinder, who leads an elite squad of commandos. But the other targets, the four generals of the Republic's strategic command, are confirmed to be on the planet Terrace. You must speed there immediately. I will be there shortly, Master. I will give you the particulars of your mission when you arrive. Barris out. My lord, I am preparing for my assault on Taris. Excellent. Your mission on Terrace is to take down the Republic's entire strategic high command. The War Trust, 
the four generals who implement the bulk of the Republic military forces' strategic planning are all on terrace as we speak. Normally, they're never together in one place. This is an incredible opportunity. The Republic will pay for such a blunder. It won't be easy. The War Trust generals are master strategists. Generals Ferrer, Mintz, Durant, and Frelka should not be taken lightly. Each will likely be protected by his own elite guard, and they have all the Republic forces on Terrace at their disposal. I will bring the Republic to its knees. If the War Trust can be killed, that is, in effect, what will be achieved. Moth Hurden leads the Imperial forces on the planet. He will provide whatever resources he can. Shuttle to the surface and seek him out immediately. Morph heard in the cities here. What's that, Lieutenant? Oh, I didn't see you come in. You must be the Sith Darth Barriss sent. Welcome to Talis. Indeed, my mission is of high importance. Brief me on the situation here. Yes, right. As I told Darth Barriss, I have long sought an opportunity to assist him, and am eager to contribute however I am able. I doubt he came all this way to be fawned on. Of course. May I introduce Lieutenant Pierce, on loan from one of our notorious Black Ops divisions. He is hands down my finest officer. I give you exclusive reign of him while you're on Talis, which I trust will accommodate your every need. I hope he is up to the task. Pierce represents the elite of the Empire's elite, and then some. As you proceed, if I can offer any further aid, do not hesitate to contact me. Heard we're going after the War Trust. Did some homework. If that is the mission, I'm fully prepped. Direct and active. We'll get along just fine. My lord, all four of the War Trust generals are here on Taris, which means something big. But they never show their faces. Got my hands on a Republic scout, leaned on him, hard. He was setting up supply routes for General Frelka, the War Trust junior member. I'd like to interrogate this scout personally. He's dead. Sorry. Next time, leave interrogation to the professionals. Noted. Been scoping the area the scout described. Several heavily armed Republic supply caravans run along carefully staggered routes. A couple of dozen soldiers could hit the caravans, pull their transponders, triangulate their destination with the equipment here. Moff Hurden can't spare the manpower, though. I'm easily the match of a couple dozen foot soldiers. Then I guess I'm running the tech. Here are the coordinates. Caravans run daily, but they vary the timing. I'm sure you'll come upon them eventually. Hit enough and snag the transponders. I'll figure out where they're going. Should zero in on General Froker. Kupa Gigi Quoting no Lia Makachisa. Tava da Chuba Koji Duanti Nitota Ninga Ninga K. Trip Nimoni Tanu Alelu Nan Quetuta. Start talking. Ut Eda Iki Tutuku, Lord Jarat Rada Mana Mana. Saya tupi nu avatikuna chido niki toki. The Republic is not worth dying for. Ut eda iki tutuku lo jarat roda mana mana. Staluka uba ziki danti ruba jakta nichi. The power reactor will self destruct in five minutes. Chopting wampa la hagua kilia jekoska pagota palco. I'll just kill you and hunt for minced later. Dai matame. Tilis kachanaga wani chika kospa ini kokate. Ti holokto chobot i kafsto andale. The power reactor will self destruct in four and a half minutes. Mi bunawa twipi de bokra wana wanga. It's already too late for you. Shani no solo. Vault code sequence arming. The reactor.
master core will self-destruct in 60 seconds. Vault code sequence initiated. Terrific. If that imposter was wrong about how much time this will take, we'll be blown to bits. Danger only makes things more fun. The reactor core will self-destruct in 45 seconds. Men, the enemy is accessing the fallout vault. Defeat the Sith and we can weather the explosion inside the vault. At least we won't be twiddling our thumbs. More fools to the slaughter. I love the thrill of killing. Hope that wasn't our last. The reactor core will self-destruct in 10 seconds. Don't worry, we're not going to die. Eight, seven. Vault code sequence complete. The reactor core will self-destruct in five seconds. Vault lock disarming. Four. Vault door airlock releasing. Three. Vault open. Side. Our enemies will pay for this. Your advisor will be dead in a few moments. Japorko Utman Gisa T me tisa roda kapana ni ompi but malia pedwana ni op ni bobo chek chupa goma chiliska chanaga ima che choran chike ukle yugo chesko pakurta tliska taka ya oska Guess killing you will have to be my consolation Is here. Track General Durant's battalion. Led by Black Op troopers on a recon run. Found Durant's hideout. He's got a full battalion guarding the compound. They're establishing a perimeter of electronic defenses around the general. Send me the coordinates. Coordinates sent. My Black Ops troopers and I were able to slip past the perimeter before they got the systems online. But we were spotted. We're taking fire. Outnumbered. Should be able to hold them off long enough for you to break through, but that's it. Sit still. This won't take long. Well, we're not going anywhere. Knock out those defense systems. We'll hold the position for you. Or worst case, our bodies will slow down their charge. Proud to have served, my lord. Pierce out. Pierce here. They flushed us out. We're on the move. Lost a third of my men, but we're hitting them ten to one. It's still too many. I'll try to rally the men, hold the enemy off as long as I can. Pierce out. My lord, the enemy is regrouping. I'm down to three men against about 300. Hope we could take out a whole battalion, but it looks like we'll come up short. When you see him, tell Durant. My lord, I spent all my ammunition and I'm down to my last med pack. But Durant's battalion is down. <laughs> so is the rest of my unit. Never seen men stare death in the face and fight more bravely. They did their job. Now the enemy is mine. General Durant and his guards have retreated inside the compound. Proud I ushered you to the doorstep. General Durant, I've come for you. I'm not hiding anymore, Sith. We delayed you long enough to achieve success. We've stabilized the sea and tide cells. Now, the Republic has a new power source that gives us the advantage in this war. I'm just here to take you out, Durant. General Frelka and General Mint's sacrifices won't be in vain. This blaster is the prototype, powered by the smallest sea and tide battery. You're about to see just how lethal it is. Everyone, attack. You will not defeat General Ferrer. 
You wasted your life. I will crush everything you have built. Then I die. A broken man for the Republic. <sighs> I'm in a medevac transport. Arriving back at base. Needed to tap you. Darth Barris has made contact. I updated him. I have him and Moff Hurden on hollow for you. With three of the four generals taken out, Barris better be complimentary. Compliments don't seem his style. Patching him through. Apprentice, your progress has been conveyed to me, and I've been briefed on the search for General Ferrer. Moff Hurden informs me that Ferrer has relocated all of the Republic's forces on Terrace to protect his command center at the Republic's stronghold. Guess I know where I'm going next. First, you must convene with me. This assault will take all our firepower. I've summoned your crew to the base. They will all be utilized. And I've informed Moff Hurden that you are commandeering the entirety of his forces. Yes, right. They are yours to command, my lord. I have longed to lead an army. You will now sink your teeth into full-scale war. Rendezvous with Hurden, Pierce, and your crew at the Imperial base. There is much planning to do. Be swift. I am here. Let the war begin. Yes, time is of the essence. Lieutenant Pierce, Captain Quinn, bring my apprentice up to speed on our enemy's activity. Yes, my lord. It's a fairly complex situation. General Ferrer, the War Trust's most senior member, is garrisoned in a fortified wing of the Republic's main base. He's got a huge army protecting him. More reinforcements on the way. We're outnumbered eight to one. My lord, the lieutenant's statistics are inexact, but the general thrust is sound. The numbers favor Ferrer, but there are ways around that. If you have a plan, let's hear it. Now, to maximize our chances, we must coordinate three simultaneous strikes. One will destroy the base's power station. Another will sabotage its spaceport force field to thwart any reinforcements. And the last will force the conscripted regiments of Ferrer's army to flee. What do these strikes entail? The details will be forthcoming, Apprentice, but I do not need to hear them. Quinn will coordinate from the base, and you will lead the frontline offensive. Beyond that, decide how to assign your men. Goodbye. I'm the best choice for frontline work. You need a soldier. I disagree. If the frontal assault isn't handled correctly, your route into the command center will be clogged with run-over battlefield soldiers. In my opinion, Jaser should join you. She can use her power to see into the hearts of the enemy and identify the insecure ranks. I want Jaser's insights on the battlefield. Very good, my lord. That leaves Pierce and Vet to handle the power station demolition and the spaceport sabotage. If the traps and mines that protect the power station aren't circumvented in time, you'll be under constant turret fire inside the Republic base. Vet, clear the way so the power station can be destroyed. Child play. Unless Pierce can lock the spaceport force field in time, you'll face Ferrer's reinforcements inside the base. Don't worry about me, Captain. Assaults have been assigned, my lord. Once you've cleared the way on the front, invade General Ferrer's command center at will. Let's get this war started. My lord, any final words for the troops? Today, we fight as one. I believe in every one of you. Join me in victory. If that doesn't inspire, nothing will. Good luck, my lord. I'll be coordinating the attacks via Hollow. Don't worry, Captain. The real soldiers have got this one. All alert. The enemy is sighted. <laughs> Sith, you are massively outnumbered. You will not invade General Ferrer's headquarters. Turn away at once. Jaser, use your power and scan Ferrer's forces for the weak link. My pleasure, Master. Most of these dogs are brimming with strength and conviction. I sense hate and a willingness to die for the Republic. Ah, uh, not so fast. There. 
An entire column of soldiers who are forced to be here. They will definitely run if singled out. Lead the assault against the conscripts, Jaser. Make them flee. Thank you, Master. Men, attack with me! Conscripted scum! We still have numbers! All attack! Take your blood! My lord, I have updates from the other fronts. I'm pleased to report that the Republic Power Station has been destroyed. Vet went through their traps like they were infant toys. From her report, I doubt anyone else could have achieved it. You were right in assigning her to strike the power station. She knew the consequences for failure. Knowing her capabilities better will aid me in future calculations. With the base security systems down, you'll endure no automatic turret fire on our way to Ferrer's command center. On the other front, Lieutenant Pierce was able to sabotage and lock the Republic spaceport force field controls. I knew he was the man for the job. Yes, it seems under that insubordinate exterior lies a very capable soldier. Now, when Ferrer's reinforcements land inside the base, they'll be trapped behind the force field and unable to join the fight. Still, the General's elite guard clogs the way to the command center. They are quite formidable. There's nothing I can't handle. I have great faith in that. There's no time to lose, my lord. Ferrer's command center awaits. Good luck. It's time for you to join the rest of the War Trust, Ferrer. Quite the contrary. After you took down my fellows, I knew my only chance was to delay you. And my gambit has paid off. I bought enough time for my technicians to solve how to stabilize Seantide cells of any kind. The future is upon us, Sith, and you have the privilege of bearing witness. Enemy sighted, weapon systems targeted and locked. All this posturing is unnecessary. Until now, it's been the Empire that enjoyed flexing its muscles. With this new power source, it's our turn. Sea and Tide technology increases the strength of whatever it powers tenfold. The Republic fleet and arsenal will make your weapons obsolete. The Empire will have no choice but to surrender, which you should do now. How about I attack instead? Engaging all weapons. You are beaten, General. I can't believe it. All this work. All this death. For naught. I wish I could sit around and discuss where I went wrong, but a good leader always has an exit strategy. Not so fast, General. I thought you might try to run. I can always count on you, Quinn. I surrender. I expect to be afforded the treatment promised to prisoners in the Treaty of Coruscant. You're not my prisoner. You're my victim. Nice to see generals scream when they die, just like anyone else. Congratulations on the success of your mission. Taking down the War Trust is an incredible victory. It is clear you are the future of the Empire, and I hope you will count me among your closest allies. I may call on you someday, Hurden. Your unquestioned obedience will be expected. Well, yes, of course. You can count on that. As a show of support, I place Lieutenant Pierce under your command. He will be invaluable in your domination of the galaxy. Works for me. Done what I can here on Taris. Glad you're willing to let me go, Hurden. You're meant for greater things, Lieutenant. With me, you will fulfill your destiny. 
You won't be disappointed. Lieutenant Fallin, I will brief you on how things work here when we are back on the ship. Can't wait. Apprentice, the Ward Trust dismantling has been your finest hour, but a new challenge arises. One of our missing targets, Admiral Monk, has revealed himself. As you may recall, my master Darth Vengeon set off to conquer the fringe systems and inspire the Dark Council to reignite the war. Somehow, Admiral Monk caught wind of the plan and was waiting in ambush. He is laying siege to the flagship as we speak. I'll stop the siege, Master. That is an excellent idea. Plan Zero calls for Admiral Monk's head. This may be our only opportunity to crush him. Our flagship is commanded by Moff Maskin. Fly to the space battle immediately. Board his ship and stop Admiral Monk's siege. Moff Maskin, I presume. Darth Barris sent me. I've liberated your ship. Where is Admiral Monk? Well, well. Come to inspect the scene of the crime, eh? Admiral Monk and his top men jettisoned down to Quesh. I'm so sorry you missed him. Are you here to deliver his reward? Offer congratulations? Is that your best attempt at gratitude? You think I should be grateful? This was a secret attack, yet I come out of hyperdrive to find the Republic's most decorated admiral laying in wait. Admiral Monk had my force field and docking codes. This stinks of a setup. I suggest you clean house and find the rat. This was no Imperial leak. Your master's master is Darth Vengeon. Barris manipulated him into this attack in order to ruin him. I've had a bellyful of Sith in fighting, always undermining Imperial operations. It's why we have yet to crush the Republic outright. Accept it. You are merely the toys we play with. I'm not taking it anymore. You will pay for your master's manipulations. Men, kill the Sith. Darth Vengeon will reward us. Here for inoculation. You'll need form 1423-D. And, uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry, my lord, I thought you were another recruit. No paperwork required. I take it you're here to fight in the Quesh War? Just point me towards the battle. This planet generally doesn't inspire excitement. Quesh is highly toxic, poisoned by the resource the Republic's mining. You'll need a protective injection just to survive. There we go. That treatment will protect you for the time being. I have business on Quesh. You're good to go. The effects will wear off, but you can get another injection planet side. You're cleared. Talk to Moff Drayson if you want to fight. He's in charge of the Empire's war effort. What does Barris think he's doing, sending you here after me? Is he trying to make it look good? Give himself an alibi? Because you can tell him mission accomplished. Almost all of my men are dead. You've done a great job making this look legit. Now back off! You're in league with Barris. Aren't you smart? Yes, of course, idiot. These are my senior officers. We all defected over a decade ago and have been working for Barris since. But wait, you didn't know this? He didn't tell you we were following his command? It must have slipped his mind. Things don't slip that man's mind. Every expression is a deliberate act. Surely you can see how foolish this is. Our covers are intact. We can make an incredible difference for him in the war. Why would he order our deaths? This is the eventual fate of every spy, Admiral. I suppose you're right about that. But he can't think that we're going to take this line down. Men, our master has decided we're expendable. Let's prove otherwise. Pity you, his blind, obedient lapdog. No one's safe with Barris. 
Not even you. If he tries to betray me, he's in for a big surprise. So naive. You're nothing. Nothing compared to him. Apprentice, my master Darth Vengeance is distraught. With his covert attack exposed, the Treaty of Coruscant has been broken. And apparently, Moff Maskin did not survive Admiral Monk's ambush. What happened? Admiral Monk must have killed him. Is that so? How interesting. Well, at least you avenged him. What's important is that you accomplished your objective. The elimination of Admiral Monk, it is a major blow to the Republic. Now, the final Plan Zero target has been discovered. The hunt for Jedi Knight Zerinder takes you to Hoth. Contact me when you arrive. My lord, I am docked at the space station above Hoth. Very good. Now that Admiral Monk and the War Trust have fallen to your might, all that remains is Jedi Knight Zerinder. Zerinder has dedicated himself to the Republic like no other. He's led our enemies to many cunning victories. Not only is he a symbol of inspiration for the Republic, he's been a thorn in my side for a long time. Do you know what he's trying to achieve here? Intelligence reports suggest that he has brought his troop of elite special ops to seek a secret superweapon. I can uncover no information about this weapon, only that it was lost in the wreckage of one of the crashed starships from the war. Maybe we can use the Republic's toy against them. Perhaps. If Zerinder wants it, it must be very powerful. His death is the goal, but if the weapon can be salvaged, all the better. Your contact on the surface is Commander Lanklin. He's been tracking Zerinder and should be ready to meet you at the Imperial base. The Commander occasionally bites off more than he can chew, but he's being warned that this mission cannot afford anything less than perfection. Zerinder is the last of your targets. Report to me when you know the nature of the superweapon he seeks. Get this right, Apprentice. Hoth. Back in the day, I managed to escape assignment here. It chills my bones just to be in orbit above this frigid planet. Um, yeah, you should <laughs> leave me on the ship. I'm... <coughs> I think I'm fighting off a cold. <coughs> Forget those cowards, my lord. A little snow won't stop me. I'm ready for action. The soldier mirrors my attitude, master. I want to consume every experience I can. I seek Commander Lanklin. My lord, I am Ensign Slint, Commander Lanklin's second in command. You've arrived sooner than expected. The commander is in the field, tracking Jedi Zerender, but has failed to report in. His tracer beacon hasn't moved for quite some time. Did he transmit any information for me? No, my lord. Transmissions on Hoth are sketchy and hard to make secure. This planet is a pitfall of hazards. There's a massive Republic presence, and all manner of power-hungry alien pirates. Our forces are stretched thin. A rescue party for Commander Lanklin would take several days to put together. I cannot afford delays. You and Lanklin are taxing my patience. Uh, apologies, my lord. I believe the Commander was successfully tracking the target. I'm not sure what went wrong. Here is the location indicated by the Tracer Beacon. It's in hostile territory. There are rumors of a heavily defended pirate stronghold in that sector. It will be hard to get in. The tougher, the better. I hope you are successful, my lord. The pirates hate the Empire. If Commander Lanklin has fallen into their clutches, I hate to think what's happened. Lord, is that you? I heard the sounds of battle outside and grew hopeful. Just tell me everything you know about Jedi Knight Zerinder. Yes, my lord. Jedi Zerinder is a crafty adversary. I thought I was tracking him and his men when I found myself led into a pirate ambush. It seems he had the Republic's elite Tal's commandos lure me off his trail. The Tal's are unmatched trackers. Highly cunning. So, you know nothing of Zerinder's mission or destination? Well, I, I suppose practically speaking, that is the case. I can tell you this. If Zerinder's been given command of the Tal's, this weapon he's after must be supremely important. 
I know where the Tal's headquarters is located. Maybe you can force one of them to confess what Zerand is after. I suppose that will have to suffice. I wish there was more I could do. I hope this lead makes up for my... blunder. I'll rendezvous with you at the outpost in the next sector, and we can update Lord Barris. It's left. Everywhere I turn, the monster appears. Why do you torment me? I'm not part of your vendetta. What? A Sith? First Zerinder abandons me, now this? Tell me what happened. I'll tell you what happened. I was left to die. At least a Sith I can see and fight straight up. I won't be assassinated in the dark like these poor Tals. My master would tell me not to attack, but he's not here. Defend yourself, Sith! make you suffer. Go ahead and kill me. I didn't want to die at the hands of the beast anyway. Why don't you explain to me what you're talking about? The Tals warned my master about Brunmark. He's a savage Tal seeking revenge on Fitzellan and the others for ousting him. But did Serender care? No. Now Brunmark's in here somewhere, murdering... Wait! Did you hear that? No. He's... He's... You think killing a defenseless man makes you impressive? I have no quarrel with Fetzelen and the Tals. I have no intention of disrupting you, Brunmark. Get this Jedi off my hollow lantern now. I, I I can't. Serend has overridden all my controls. As you can see, Barris, I control this planet. I've tapped your communications and can anticipate your every move. As Commander Lanklin knows firsthand, the Tals keep me one step ahead of even you. Your oversized commandos are on the verge of extinction. Ah, the lapdog returns. If your trainer knows what's good for him, he'll muzzle you. I'm not here for a reunion, Barris. The last time we met, you were left drained and weaponless. This time, you won't be so lucky. My lord... I... I'm sorry, I... You have failed me for the last time, Langton. Ensign Slint, you are now coordinator of my dealings on Hoth. Don't screw it up, Commander. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Apprentice, you better have good news for me. The lost superweapon Zerinda seeks is actually a Jedi Master named Wyalet. Ah, Master Wyalet. Now I understand why Zerinda would risk exposure. Before his capture during the war, Wyalet was among the Jedi's most powerful masters. The ship transporting him to me was destroyed in a fierce space battle in this system. I assumed he'd perished, but... The ship must have crashed here on Hoth, and he's kept himself alive all this time. So it would seem. For beings that commune deeply enough, the Force can be as sustaining as rations. During the war, Zerinder was Master Wyalet's Padawan. We battled. Wyalet took my lightsaber and used it from then on. If Wyalet is on Hoth, so is my blade. I will concentrate to locate it. Yes, there. Coordinate sent, Commander. Now go, Apprentice. Find the lightsaber and the Jedi. My lord. The area indicated is an uncharted quadrant where black marketeers are said to operate. What will you have me do while you're away? Dispose of Lanklin's body, Commander. 
The Emperor's speed to you, my lord. <laughs> Nice price for something we thawed out from the ice. The lightsaber is yours. Glad we could do business together, Tolls. Looks like it's time for a bloodbath. <laughs> If your targets are in my way, I'm going to kill them. This is a lesson you'll only learn once. If you know what's good for you, stay out of my way. This is the last moment of your life. I could use a ferocious beast like you. You have a deal. Fall in line. I have unfinished business of my own. Fight alongside me, monster. We will destroy all our enemies together. <laughs> eyes are still adjusting, but I have no trouble recognizing you, Brave Zerinder. The sight warms me. Master Wyatt, your ordeal has ended. I only wish I'd heard you reaching out to me sooner. Do not denigrate yourself. It took great concentration to summon you, all these many years entombed in this rubble. I have fed off the Force, and have great insights to impart. This should be good. I can't wait to hear it. What's this? I sense a presence. Barris. Indeed. This is Darth Barriss's apprentice, come to stop me from returning you to your command. Conserve your strength, Master. My men and I will dispatch this interloper. I will savor your destruction. To arms, men! Protect Master Wyatt at all costs!
stop, Sith. Had my strength returned before this moment, I would have kept Zerinder from engaging you. Now he is down, and your fight has made this chamber unstable. It is nearing an inevitable collapse. You've proven your superiority. Let me bargain for Zerinder's life. Talk, but make it fast. This fight was unnecessary. I have no intention of returning to fight for the Republic. Zerinder's young and driven, yet he has only begun to grasp the ways of the Force. In truth, I was the same until being buried on Hoth. Here I communed with the Force, to the exclusion of all else. I find that somewhat intriguing. It has been a great privilege, and quite mind-expanding. The Force is with me, greater than ever now. I suspect that I could defeat you quite handily, but I'm no longer concerned with the tidings of this galaxy, or these times. I only seek to continue my transcendence. If that's true, why did you summon Zerinder here? I wanted to share my revelations, and bring him to the same understanding. This excavation site is nearing collapse. Should we battle, we would both be crushed. Allow Zerinder and me to be buried here for eternity. Your objective will be met. Our lives will be richer. Finding oneness with the Force. I can't let you become even stronger. Then you leave me no choice but to fight you. Know this. My journey will continue. Either I vanquish you quickly and leave this planet to commune with the Force, or we duel until the inevitable collapse of this chamber. Fighting is foolish, Seth. The chamber nears collapse. Persist and you will perish. But I will simply return to my trance and commune once more with the Force. Walk away now with your mission complete. And I will live out my life buried here, at one with the Force. I sense panic in you. You know I will defeat you in time. Then I will have to summon all my strength. Princess, you are looking at a very pleased man. Admiral Monk destroyed. The War Trust, no more. Now, with Jedi Zerinder and Master Wyatt neutralized, all of the Republic's most vaunted leaders are no more. Plan Zero is complete. Where does it leave us, Master? There is more to discuss. Much of it of a sensitive nature which I do not wish to convey via hollow. Return to my chambers here on Drummond Cass, immediately. I'm back, Master. There is no time to waste, Apprentice. Listen up. Plan Zero was always my desire. I've been whispering in my master Darth Vengeance ear for years. Inciting full-scale war was but one goal. The other was the downfall of Darth Vengeance, so that I may ascend to his seat. Making an enemy of a Dark Council member isn't the wisest thing. I have patiently waited and carefully set the stage. The Council doesn't appreciate being undermined. They're all but calling for Vengeance's head. A strike against him now would be met with universal support. How would you like to face off against one of the twelve most powerful Sith in the galaxy? What's in it for me? As I move up, you move with me. And the rewards increase at every step. There's another wrinkle. Darth Vengeance's apprentice, Lord Drog, has been secretly working for me, which Vengeance discovered before I could recall him. Vengeance's rage is growing. You must free Drog and face Darth Vengeance together. Why should I bother saving my rival within your organization? I said nothing about Drog being your rival. There is no need to fear him. In fact, he is rather in awe of you. Drog knows Vengeance's weaknesses and how to breach his inner sanctum. Administer this resuscitation drug to Drog. It will restore his strength. It will take both of you to overcome Vengeance. So free the apprentice and destroy the master. Be off. Lord Drog, 
Barris sent me. I'm administering a resuscitation stimulant. I, uh... I'm grateful. To you and to Barris. I look forward to serving him directly, once Darth Vengeance has been destroyed. Tell me you know how to find him. He's in his inner sanctum, communing with the dark side. Channeling his rage and power. We have to confront Darth Vengeance there. But it won't be easy to access. There's nothing I can't handle. Good. We need to be ready for anything. I know Darth Vengeance well. He'll have tricks up his sleeve. Three outer rings of this compound must be breached before we can reach the inner sanctum. Then a key is needed to enter. It's Darth Vengeance's personal key, but I made a copy and hid it. I'll retrieve the key while you break through the outer rings. Then I'll meet you at the gates to Vengeance's inner sanctum. You run the gauntlet of Darth Vengeance's security. I swear to you, I'll do whatever it takes to deliver the key. You'll see. We'll make a great team. Or every bit as proficient as Barris said. If I can inspire you, good. I need you strong and confident for what's to come. I know what we're up against. I almost didn't make it. There were traps in the passages. I got the key, but Darth Vengin probably knows we're coming. We will take him down, whether he is prepared or not. I will feed off your confidence. If I should fall, I want you to know it was an honor to fight and die alongside you. Ah! The apprentices of Darth Berus. Drag, I will enjoy bleeding you anew. And you? Before you arrived, Berus was but a bit player. He would be nowhere without you. That assessment is where our common ground ends, Vengeance. Your talents are wasted on that man. It sickens me. Your master doesn't deserve you. He's a coward, pushing buttons from the darkness. You and I are people of action. Sounds like you want to forge an alliance with me. No, that hadn't crossed my mind. I can handle Barris on my own. Still, it tickles me to imagine your master's expression if I came at him with you by my side. Ha! Why would anyone leave Barris for someone he's so easily duped? So easily exposed? Enough of you! No, I will show everyone what it means to cross me. Barris and everything with his stink must perish. You've been with Barris the longest, so you stink the most. You both die now! For years, I've dreamed of vanquishing Darth Vengin. Glad to have had a hand in it. He fought hard and well. You don't get to be a member of the Dark Council unless you can back it up. I have no delusions I would have survived this battle if it wasn't for you. This is your victory. You, Barris, and I will be unstoppable. It is a certainty. There are things I must clean up here for Barris. I will meet you back at his chambers. Look upon me, apprentice. You have never seen me so pleased. And look around these chambers one last time. The humble trappings of yesterday. With our dismantling of Darth Vengeance complete, I assume his seat on the Dark Council and return to Korriban. Well earned, Master. This could not have been achieved without you. We ascend together, Apprentice. 
Only our combined strengths can propel us to the height of power. Ah, the third side of this triumvirate arrives. Lord Drog, welcome home. It's been a long time, Master. I'm ready to join the front line. There is a war to win. What is your command, Master? Now that I'm on the Dark Council, we are perfectly positioned to bring the Republic to its knees, to shape the galaxy as we wish. Go and enjoy this victory, my apprentices, but be ready for my call. I will not sit idle long.